Hello, you guys. Okay, so um, probably about a month ago, I did a video on my YouTube story, and a lot of you seem to like. And in that video, I promised that I would do a video on how to get started on YouTube. So that is what I'm going to be doing today, obviously. And I wrote all my tips and tricks down in my cute little Hello Kitty notebook that I got from Target. Isn't she the cutest? Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is my likes. I know a lot of y'all are probably like, okay, what does my likes have to do with getting started on YouTube? My likes is a great way to get ideas on what to do videos on. And my likes is also a very fast way to make money. A lot of you have been asking me questions like, is it legit? Yes, my likes is too legit to quit, okay? It is seriously the best thing since shoestrings. I love my likes. Um, you guys know I make a lot of my likes videos. Um, don't knock the hustle. I know a lot of people hate that gurus um, make my likes videos, but for real, don't knock the hustle, okay? Just saying. But um, it's very easy. All you have to do is sign up, obviously. And once you sign up, you pick different categories that you want to make videos about. And once you pick those certain categories, they'll have a whole list of videos you can do. Say for instance, they have an ad up for MAC Cosmetics and they say they will pay you $10 per thousand views. All you have to do is get your MAC Cosmetics and make a video on it and upload. So a lot of people thought that you had to have at least a thousand views to get paid on my likes, but it doesn't work that way. Um, basically, they just pay you by the click like or how many views you get like one cent per view or two cents per view something like that so you don't have to have at least a thousand views to get paid so that's really cool and, and you don't have to be partnered with YouTube or anything like that so that's what's really cool about it you can be anybody you don't have to be a quote-unquote popular guru here on YouTube to make money so really really fun I thought I'd let some of you guys know about it in case you didn't know um just a fast way to make money and um, all you have to do is connect your PayPal account to your MyLikes account and every Friday if you get past like five dollars I think they deposit it into your um, PayPal account so yeah it's really simple I'm gonna put a link below if y'all want to check that out so yeah do so do so do so so the first thing I want to talk about on how to get started with YouTube is figuring out what kind of channel you want to have whether it's a beauty channel a comedian channel or whatever just figure out what you want to do. And so the next thing you want to do is come up with a username. Um, you want to make it simple. You want to make it something that people can remember. I know a lot of people like to put X's and a lot of zeros and stuff. Um, that's going to be kind of hard for someone to remember if they're looking for you. So just keep it simple. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you stupid, I promise. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is make sure you have a good camera. And this is very, very important. Um, the camera I use is a Sanyo Dual Exotic HD 2011 version. I'll put the name right here. Um, I got mine from Radio Shack, and it was roughly between like $250 and $300, which is kind of cheap for cameras because I've seen some cameras like up to $1,000. So I think that's a really good price. But just look around and save up your money if you can't get one right away because having a good camera is going to be very beneficial when making YouTube videos. So now that you know what your videos are going to be about, you have a username and a good camera. You want to work on keeping your videos exciting and entertaining. That is very important. So a good way to find out whether your videos are entertaining or not is watching yourselves. Now if you cannot sit and watch yourself talk for 15 minutes, then who else is going to watch you talk for 15 minutes? Because if you can't listen to yourself talk for 15 minutes, then I know I'm definitely not going to listen to you talk for 15 minutes. Because you know, us as people, we are vain. So if you can't even watch yourself talk for 15 minutes, then please don't expect me or anybody else to sit there and watch you talk for 15 minutes. Okay? I'm just saying. You feel me like You feel me like it? Well, let me in. Let me in. Now, with keeping it exciting and entertaining, you also want to be yourself because you can tell when people aren't being themselves. You also want to stick to what you know. Um, I also find a lot of people who just do strictly one type of videos, like they do strictly hair tutorials or strictly outfit of the days, week tutorials, week reviews, whatever. I understand that people do want to stick to what they know, but spice it up a little bit because that's going to keep it a little bit more entertaining. I got a lot of inbox messages asking how I say up my camera so I'm going to show you my camera set up right now and that is my camera with my tripod and I also got my tripod from Radio Shack so yeah that's it right there but a lot of you also contacted me saying Nitra I want to make videos but I'm super super 
super shy how do I get over being shy when you're talking to the camera don't look at it as if you're really talking to a camera look at it as if you're talking to your subscribers you're talking to your friends whatever you need to do to get comfortable do that um, it may take a while um, maybe record a couple of videos without uploading them that may also help you as well okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you tag your videos well this is very important because tagging your videos is going to determine whether your videos pop up when someone types into the search engine also make sure you check out your insight um, a lot of people don't check out their insight and it's like a little button well not a button it's a link that's like usually above your videos so check that out that lets you know the different age groups that you're going to be approaching um the different views you get your subscription changes or your subscriber changes i mean like how many subscribers you lose and how many you gain so definitely check out your insight that's going to be a great great help it lets you know how many females watch you how many males watch you blah 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 all that stuff you need to know is in your insight okay so the next thing i want to talk about is good lighting editing and back background okay good lighting this has been a struggle for me um, I'm still working on good lighting a lot of people still complain about my lighting but I'm trying you guys I try um, I try to use natural light as much as I can because I find that that is the best lighting but if I can't get natural light this is what I use I use two big lights like this and you can get these lights at like Dollar General Walmart places like that and they're like five dollars and they give off a ton of light it almost plays as natural light so these are very very good and all you want to do is get two and you want to put one on each side of you and it's gonna it's gonna give you great great light okay so now we want to talk about editing for editing I use Windows Movie Live Maker or Windows Live Movie Maker yeah Windows Live Movie Maker that's what it's called um, it comes on your um, PC you can download it uh, I'll put a link below if you guys want to download it uh, another thing I want to talk about is background now, a lot of people may not find that this is important when making videos, but for me, I find it important because I hate when I watch a video and it's junky as HD double hockey sticks in the background. I hate that. Can you please just pick up your underwear and your dirty clothes, make up your bed? I mean, it makes no sense to make a video and everything behind you is a mess. I can't even concentrate on what you're saying because it's too much mess and junk going on back there, you know? You know? So another thing that I found helped me get more subscribers was making videos back to back to back. I don't know what it is about making videos back to back to back, but I noticed that when I do make like three or four videos back to back to back, I get more subscribers. Okay, so another important thing is networking. It is very important to network. Mm -hmm. Now there's a big difference between networking and spamming. So do not go around saying, oh, Nitra B told me to spam. No, Nitra B did not tell you to spam. Nitra B told you to network. A good way to network is send messages to people who watch beauty videos and be like, um, hello there. Um, I'm such and such and I'm an upcoming boot. No, you're not a booty guru. You're a beauty guru. I'm an upcoming beauty guru and I would like it if you would check out my videos. Simple as that. Okay, so the last and final thing that I want to talk about is probably what I got the most inboxes about. How do I get sponsors and how do I get free things? Okay, so this is the first thing that I want to tell you guys. Make a business contact email address. This is very important because this is going to help people who possibly want you to do reviews get in touch with you. Um, I'm going to put an example below of like what your business contact email thing needs to say. You need to post this on your channel, in your description box, wherever you feel that people are going to see it. Now, besides that, I really don't know what to tell you. I don't know how people decide on who they choose to do certain reviews. I guess they just see your videos, they like you, they like what you do, so they send you an email. And one last thing, remember once you get YT Famous, remember who got you there and never forget your subscribers. I know so many beauty gurus, once they get so high and mighty, they forget about their subscribers and I never want you guys to think that I have forgotten about you. I love you all so much and I appreciate you all so much because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here and I just want to give you lots of tons of kisses. That is all of the tips and tricks that I have. Um, if I left anything out, comment below and let me know and I will do a part two on how to get started on YouTube. But anyways, I hope it was helpful and I'll talk to you all in another video. Bye!